Okay, I haven't really scripted anything out, but um, I just installed the new 10.2.1 uh, uh, 1055 uh, leak, and I'll tell you, it is leak-tastic. Um, so I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to show you, but I'll, it starts, you know, right at the, uh, right at the password screen. I'll show you my password. There it is. Did you get that? Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's their answer to uh, basically the fingerprint scanner. It's quick <clears throat> um, and it's basically uncrackable. The math behind that thing is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so what else is new? Um, oh, quick settings are now configurable so you can then, you know, choose what goes in here. Um, I've put the device monitor in here, so I'll show you that. Big changes there. Um, it's gotten much, much better. Uh, you can see I came off the, oh, battery life. I came off the charger at um, 7.54 this morning. It's now 5.02 and I have 40% remaining. So I'm on track to easily get 14 hours today. So uh, battery life is definitely improved in this build. Um, you can see exactly what's been eating your battery. Same for memory, storage, um, CPU. Etc. Uh, and you can also dive more deeply into any one of these and you know it'll t show you where you were using it a lot and stuff. Looks like there was a lot of activity on BBM not long ago. I'll have to check that. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, the, the device, the new device monitors is pretty neat. Um, there are some changes in the hub. Um, in previous builds, um, some people, I never really experienced this myself, but some people were complaining of, of lag in the uh, SMS messaging in particular. Um, I never really experienced that. Uh, you can see there's no lag there. That's a fairly long conversation. I'll show you another one. Yeah, well, that's a short one, but you know, no lag. So um, there's this pinch to... I don't really know. That'll show you what's in the priority hub. Um, right now I don't have anything in the priority hub because I haven't been using the phone long enough to have it in there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I assume that you know eventually that feature will become useful. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Um, like if you're in a message, whoops, I don't want to show that one. Um, if you're in an email, for example, then it'll give you the option to, you know, go to the next or previous email straight away, right from the email. And of course you can, you know, do everything you would normally do with your emails and any other types of messages. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Device manager is cool. What else? Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, everyone's talking about the, the new Android player and the fact that we can now uh, install Android apps directly. Um, really, I'm not too interested in this feature because I just don't like Android apps <laughs> generally. And most of these we already have um, BB10 native versions. There are some holdouts, like there's not BB10 Netflix. There is BB10 this, BB10 this, BB10 this. Um, I don't think there's BB10 that. Let's see, what should I install here just to show you guys? How about Google Maps? Again, I don't really use Google Maps, um, but I can install them if I so desire. My home Wi-Fi is incredibly slow, so please um, forgive that. We'll wait for this to download, and I'll we'll wait for that to download. Fugly Android dial pad. <laughs> that is so ugly. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and install that. Just making sure that I want to. Doo-dee-dum. Yeah, you can have that. Doo-dee-dum. It probably needs my... Oh. Sign in? I don't want to sign in. All right. Ben's Delicatessen, Bayside. Oh. Ben's Delicatessen, apparently it's searching. Oh my gosh, it found it. How about that? So if I wanted to go, I just tap there. As you can see, it pretty much works. And I can call them. I can... It works pretty much exactly like on Android. Um, can I can zoom in. Yeah. 
work pretty much the same as on Android as far as I can tell, which is to say uh, not as well as native BB10 apps work, <laughs> but they do work. Um, yeah, so apparently um, we can install Android apps now, yay! I'm going to go delete that one because I don't want it. Bye, Google Maps. Done. Um, so, so far that's what I've discovered is new in 10.2.1. Uh, um, to recap, we have uh, a new method of uh, doing a pass code to get into the phone, which is pretty cool. We have configurable um, quick settings. Um, got a really, you know, full-featured uh, device monitor built right in. Um, you can see I'm draining my battery a little bit while I do this. It's fine. Um, you know, granted, I didn't spend all day staring at my phone today. I do have a life, uh, but still, it's going to get me 16 hours. I did a lot with the phone just to prove it to you. You can see I did all those things. Um, some enhancements in the hub. Yeah, I already deleted it. Uh, and I guess uh, a new improved uh, Android runtime theme of Auber that allows you to directly install um, apps. By the way, I'm not wearing, not wearing my uh, uh, Blackberry Pirate uh, hat today, but there are better uh, apps to get to Android apps. Um, I'm sure if you sniff around, you'll find them. I'm only showing you this one because I happen to know it's legal and fine. So, uh, but there are ones that allow you to access the uh, Play Store too. So I encourage you to um, poke around for those. Anywho, uh, that's it, and have a nice day.